Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite splints for finger stiffness, especially helpful in patients recovering from distal radius fracture or finger fractures, and it's called the MCP joint blocking splint. This is what the finished product looks like. I'll have Janine demonstrate how it works. So when she slides it on, it blocks the motion of her metacarpals, allowing her to focus solely on IP joint flexion and extension without compensating with the more mobile MCP joints. So now I'll show you how to make this with a small piece of material that you probably have lying around the clinic, so it's a very cost-effective um, split to make using a piece of material you would otherwise throw out. So now we've warmed up our piece of scrap material, cut it into an even rectangle, keeping in mind that you're going to try to clear the IP joints of the fingers. I like to roll up a semicircle to make space for the thumb. And then I have the patient positioned with their fingers in maximal extension. Put that curved piece right in the thumb and just wrap around. Tight is better. In this case, it doesn't have to look good. Once it's wrapped around, while it's still warm, you're going to use the opportunity to roll down to clear the IP joints, especially that pinky. All the way around if possible. And then again, get that nice snug fit, making sure that the patient is straight at the MCP joints, because oftentimes they'll start to trend down into flexion. And then once it's hard, and slip it off, you can trim down the extra, and then you end up with your finished piece. 